Oh, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I'm still Well, he will never forget this experience, making the walk to that famed UFC octagon for the first time. But the question beckons, will there be nerves? Will there be jitters under the bright lights of the UFC octagon for the first time? He doesn't look wide-eyed necessarily here, but you have to be mindful of a possible adrenaline dump that could really affect your cardio if you're not ready for it. the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds of the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting at a Coconut Creek, Florida, fast. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, lights out. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go with round one. The UFC debut has finally arrived for this young man. It's a feel-good story, undeniably. He's got a lot of friends and family in the building. And given what he did on the regional circuit, the expectations are high that he can step right into the big show tonight and realize success immediately. Doesn't happen for everybody, but a lot of hype behind this young man. We'll see if he can live up to it tonight. Oh, All right, so pretty good work here against the fence as he can... Oh! He's close. He's hurt, man. Here, big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ it. Oh. oh, he might be out. Whoa, he's out. He got him. <laughs> yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over. But excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Like well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.